name is Gina Faro. Um, I am a theatre maker uh, from Berlin and uh, for Checkpoint I'm uh, an actress and an assistant director. Yeah, hi, my name is Hibo. I am a journalist and also theatre actress. Uh, I am part also of this project uh, Checkpoint with my friend Gina and uh, Muda Ramadan. We start the concept with two guys and two women, uh, Gina and I, Azam and Mudar. Three of us were we had a war experience, and two one of us a lot of experience as a woman in this society. We wanted to explain some stuff from our own experience. We talked about the very different checkpoints. What could they have in common? Checkpoint for us is kind of a metaphor where one party has much more power over the other one. Checkpoint means hajj. In Syria, uh, where I used to live, has another concept of checkpoint because they they are living this uh, the real checkpoint uh, with weapons and so on. For example, from the countryside to the city. In the city, there is hajjas, that means that a bunch of soldiers who stand there and they will check you. When you are there, so you don't know who is there on this checkpoint thing. Like maybe they are the free army or maybe they are uh, ISIS or maybe they are from Bashar al-Assad army or something. The fear that the people experience during uh, when they are actually uh, being checked, there is a very clear power dynamics there from the person who who controls you and who can potentially deny you um, to move on. So each party has their own uh, checkpoints, their own uh, soldiers and their own uh, rules also. So you are there and you are like hoping that you are you will talk the right words. We also thought language like a power tool. We also have other things that are could be considered like metaphorically as checkpoints. During the pandemic times, we had to be checked for our you know vaccinations, for our daily tests, for everything. Like everybody's afraid of getting this virus. And after that, the checkpoint of the fearness getting bigger and bigger. Checkpoint and, and this uh, as a concept, like personal, it's something really different from checkpoint in a war situation. Now, when I ask my friends in Syria during the pandemic about coronavirus, it's for them nothing. They are living the real checkpoint. In Europe, it, the virus has been very much instrumentalized uh, in order to impose fear on people. That's also one part of a, a checkpoint. Checkpoint is just the beginning. We want to show different forms of, of power dynamics. That was the initial idea on, what, on which we wanted to expand and take different situations. An example where we have different parties and each party has different uh, power. We wanted to explore how, what an impact it has on the people on pretty much every side of, of the you know, equation. The public will be part of it. I think the main idea about checkpoint show people how privileged you are. If you have the language, if you have the, um, the weapon, you know, if you are maybe, you have another color, you have uh, another gender and so on. This was the, the main idea about our project. The people who will come, they will experience different kind of like interactive performances. And um, in the end, actually, we're going to have more of a what we mean by classical theater experience prepared for them. I don't want to spoil it too much.